Today, I'm gonna to show you how to control your Sonos speakers with the Lutron Hub using the Pico remote control that has audio controls. Let's get started. So first up, here we have the Pico remote control. Now, this is really cool because it has the play pause button. You can change the songs, go forward, all of that right on here. You can use other Pico smart remotes to do this, but I like how this shows you exactly what each button is going to do. Now this does require to have a Lutron hub to be able to connect this. So you need the Lutron hub to pair the Pico and you need the Lutron hub to connect your Sonos system. So here we have the play pause button. Here we have the volume and then we can go to the next track. So here this is compatible with the Lutron bridge, which will work with Caseta Wireless, Radio Raw 2, Homeworks, and then it does have the 10 year battery life and the 30 foot range. So pretty cool. And then the favorite button, it can go to your next favorite station. And there we have the Pico remote control. Like others, it has this on the back that you can mount this anywhere. And I like how you can mount this on the wall with the wall plate bracket. So you have the controls always available to turn on and off your system. And then you can also place it here on a pedestal just so it's kind of nice and in the right place. Now let's go ahead and connect our Sonos system in the Lutron app. So here in the Lutron app, we're gonna tap the gear icon and then we're gonna tap add a new device and scrolling all the way down to the bottom, here we have Sonos. So we're gonna tap on Sonos. It's then going to look over the network and find your Sonos system. So here it found the Sonos in the den and then we have to click done, that's it. Next, we're going to add the Pico remote. So here we're in the add device section. We're going to tap Pico remote for audio I'm then gonna hold down on the bottom button for six seconds to put in pairing mode until the lights flash. And there it's instantly asking me for what room this is in. And here under other, we have the den, perfect. And there was already a Pico remote in there, so we're gonna name that shades, and then we're gonna name this one den audio. And now it's gonna ask us to choose what devices this Pico remote is able to control. And here the only audio device is Sonos. So we're going to select Sonos. And if you had multiple, you'd be able to go and select those as well. All right, that is complete, so let's select done. It's now programming that to the system. And here under the den, we now have the audio remote, so we can do the pause, play, volume up and down, and skip. I can tap edit device. If I do want to adjust the devices later, I can tap on here, and I can go through and choose what they are going to control. Now, this could be used for other devices as well, but again, it has the print for audio, and then here we have the audio controls down at the bottom. So now let's use the Audio Pico remote to control our Sonos. So all we have to do is press play. It is then going to play over here. If we push skip, it's going to go to the next song. And then here we have volume controls, so we can go up and down, and again, we can pause it right there. So that works really great. If we push the favorites button, that's then going to go to a favorite mix that we have. I don't know if I have that set up in the Sonos app, but let's play it again. And there it's going to those different songs. So that is the Pico remote control for your Sonos sound system. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.